Hi guys, uh, we're back with another video, and in this video, we're joined by Fezan. That's me! <laughs> Hi guys. Yeah, and uh, so, okay, so I'm a third year medical student in Dao DMC, Dao Medical College, that's in Southern. Yeah. And he's an, a third year medical student from DIMC. Uh, hello guys, my name is Fezan Hug. How are y'all doing? Uh, my name is Fez um, I already said my name, sorry. I am from California, specifically the San Francisco Bay Area, where Silicon Valley is. Um, I'm a DIMC. I'm a third year medical student. I know him through a mutual friend named Taha. He's over there. He's probably not gonna come to this video though. But yeah, I know him through a mutual friend. But yeah, that is me. That is my backstory. Okay, so um, Fazan here. He studies in DIMC, Dao International Medical College. So as you can tell by the name, this um university is made specifically for the internationals. I wouldn't say specifically. Um, out of our original batch of 180, we had about 60 kids that were like me in the sense that they were from either America, Canada, Europe, or abroad. Australia. Yeah, abroad, the meaning, yeah, abroad meaning. Um, and the remaining two thirds are from Pakistan, either Karachi or Lahore or Islamabad, but they're from Pakistan. Mm. And um, so in this video, what I want to do is um, guide those, everyone who's abroad, yeah. who are in your position like a few years back. Yeah who are in the US, Canada, um, UK, and they're considering doing medicine over here. Yeah. Um, so if you surf the internet, if you just check it out, there's nothing really out there on how to do this, on how to go through this process. And sorry if I'm boring you. Oh no, um, I'm boring myself, sorry. No, bro, and the, anybody, anybody, that, anybody that's doing medicine, bro, you realize that you sleep when you sleep, you eat when you can eat, and you study when you can study. Timing, time is just relative. Just point that out there. And, uh, okay, so yeah. Um, so we we wanted to make this video on just like just give a brief information on how to get into medical school in Pakistan. What's the whole admission process? What's the what's your experience on this thing? Would you recommend it? And like you know you live um, you've lived in the hostel, yeah, so yeah. how did you find it? And like how would you recommend this thing? Do I answer that? Do I answer that in like steps or just one? Yeah, okay, let's just start <laughs> off with the admission process. So we'll first talk about the admission process. Sure. Um. So I came through out of high school. I was eighteen when I applied. I'd already taken my SATs in high school and my subject tests in high school. SAT subject tests. I took them while I was in high school. So mm. for me, I had no extra test to take in my case. Um. Uh, I have I have a brother here who's actually in his last year of medical school and he had already taken his test and exam before he applied just five years ago and he walked me through the process. So from in my case I required my SAT, my the main SAT. SATs. Uh your and your subject tests. Three subject tests. Three subject um are there any compulsory subjects? So you do need bio and chem, I think. Obviously, yeah. Right? Well, if you're becoming a doctor. I mean so they needed two or two or three sciences. I you took You need math, physics. So I took my math. I like math. So you took maths? <laughs> yes, I like math. <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> we, we call it nerd, bro. <laughs> we're in medicine, we're both we, we are nerds, unfortunately. Actually, no, nerds are cool. All right. Um, yes, yeah, so I took I took my math, science, and chem. I did fairly well in all of them. Um, good enough to get in here. Alhamdulillah. Uh, can I say that? Yeah, you can. All right, work. Um, yeah, so yeah, you need you need those tests, and I applied, I believe, in September or October, something like that. So the is there is there like a specific um time of the year in which you should apply the admission. I wish I could tell you there was because there was a kid, actually a good friend of mine here, um, who came in like February or March and we started in January, right? And I was like, yo, he missed like, he missed like what? Probably eight weeks of school right now, nine weeks, damn near. And they just let him come through. They let him come, he did everything. And it was all good for him. I'm not telling you, you can come whenever you want, but I wouldn't say that, I don't think there's a cutoff date in this school. Cause so, okay. administrative So work, it's a bit flexible. It, yeah, that's the word. That's the perfect way to describe it. It is a flexible deadline. It is a flexible admission process. Okay. And so, wait. So, you need your um, SATs? So, so, yeah, SATs. You need your GP? Yeah, so I, had, so I come from, I did my high school in the States, so I had to convert stuff. And so, what I did was, um, when I converted it and whatnot, I had to do my, I, I, I think they required IBCC or something. I'm not sure. They the did. The equivalency? Yeah, I did equivalency. I did not do IBCC. They require IBCC now, I believe. I would I would look into that. I think we'll link that in the below later. Yeah, we'll link the disc, um, website of the IBCC thing in yeah. the description box. So do check it out. Um, and the equivalency we did, I did they, they didn't need that. They also needed a copy of my, they also needed like my official transcript from the States and whatnot. I had to get it sealed and stamped. And if you're in the States, that's what I'm talking about. You need an official copy of your transcript. Yeah, they needed that as well. Okay, so GPA. Transcripts, your yeah. transcripts, your SATs. Yeah. So SATs is a must. For yeah, for me yeah, it was. I I was required. And that. your equivalency, um, 
Either that or the IBCC. I would definitely ask around seniors and maybe for the IBCC. Call call Dow the, of the Southern Office. Branch. Their number is on the website, and yeah, you should definitely. I, I actually recommend you call them. Don't even email them. Give them a call. Yeah. Give them a call. And if you can't, and if you can't, do email them. That would. But I definitely recommend call them first. See what. Call see and what, email them. Yeah, do both. Yeah, both are always better. Don't be so busy. Okay. Uh, and apart from Dow, would you recommend? Did you apply anywhere else? I did apply to Alcon. I did apply. Fortunately, I did not get in. Um, it's a great school. I do recommend Al- Alcon's a great program. Great school. Definitely better than Dow, in my opinion, especially in today's day and age. 30, 40 years ago, they went to Alcon, so, right? Dow was the best school in Pakistan at that time. Some people, can, some people will argue King Edwards, but I will still say Dow because most of the doctors didn't make it to the States and Europe and whatnot, and, uh, and uh, uh, Australia. Um, but yeah, if, if I recommend Alcon first. That should be your top priority. If you are considering Pakistan, I recommend Alcon first. Alcon. Yeah. I'll and then, find and then Dow. Dow. And then okay. Dow. And then King Edward, King Edward, King Edward's the Arkham Saints, really good hospital as well. Great school. So I think that's the admission process. We've covered up. If you guys have any further queries, I, Fazan, I'll get in touch with you. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, that's, your, um, that's the admission process. Um, what has your experience been here living in Pakistan, a, whole, a different country, moving from the States, away from your family, living in the hostel? Would um, you recommend it? So... What do I think about this place? Um, just to give you some backstory, I've been coming to this country ever since I was three years old, so I'm very familiar with the culture. Um, my both my parents are Pakistani, so we speak Urdu at home. We speak Urdu English essentially, um, and so I've never been, I've never been uncomfortable in this culture. And one thing that I would say makes a huge difference is the fact that if you are Pakistani coming to this country, understand that people died to make this country. This country has its downsides. I uh, completely agree with you on that. It's, Trust me. It's expected. You know, it's expected. You're in Pakistan. Are there squatty potties? Yeah, but you gotta deal with it. Are there people that don't know anything? Yeah, you gotta deal with it. It's mm. just the way it is. That's how this country is. And you can either be really upset and just be bitter about it, or you can make the best of it. And I re- if you are coming here, try to make the best of it, because how you deal with certain situations like that will come will affect you in the longevity of your life. Mm. You know, as you're a doctor, being able, being able to tackle situations that make you feel uncomfortable and, and challenge you to your core are gonna make you a stronger person, not only in medicine, but throughout your life. Mm. And I'm sorry, I mean to cut you off. Uh, but I think you know the um so uh you know the experience you're gaining here. I think that's gonna go a long way. It's gonna carry on with you for the rest of your life. I mean, so I lived in the hostels here in my first year, and one thing that was evidently clear was that if you come in with it, if you come with a good mentality of like, look, I'm here to work, I'm here to learn, I'm gonna try my best, I'm trying to be the best version of me, and you apply yourself to other people, and you show yourself that, and you show to other people that you're willing to grind, you're willing to work, things will just come easier ultimately because you're so focused, you're so zoned in, like. This is my goal. I'm trying to become a doctor. I'm going to be a physician regardless of what happens in my life. And I'm going a, I'm to a haul ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to bust my ass to be here. I'm, I'm a, I worked hard to be where I am. And if you show that and you, and you put honest attention and you, put, and you have an honest intention in doing that, it will pay off. And it will be, it will be difficult? Absolutely. I, 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 can, I, will, I cannot stress that enough. It will be difficult. But it will be worth it because you have worked hard to be here. Mm-hmm. This country is a different case. If you accept it, you accept it. If you don't, that's your problem. That's, nobody can help you with that. That's another. That, that, that's an internal struggle. Nobody can help you with that. All you can do is try to make the best of it. You know, smile and just try your best. Try to enjoy it for what it is. At the end of the day, if you are Pakistani, this is your country. This is your roots, and you can. Nobody can ever change that about you. Mm-hmm. No matter how many years you lived in an, abroad or another country, if you're Pakistani, you're guess so what? Pakistani. You, you are Pakistani everywhere in the world, and everybody in the world knows you're Pakistani. Now it's up to you if you want to accept it or not. That is very well said. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Uh, so, um, would you recommend this decision of doing medicine here in Pakistan? Okay. So, like I said, if you're a Pakistani, that you have your own cultural struggle and you want to battle that, that's up to you. I can nobody can help you with that besides yourself. Would I recommend the school? If you are certain you want to be a doctor and you know medicine is right for you, I do recommend it. I do recommend going to Aga Khan first. Apply there first. If you get in there, it's a better program, better school, better doctors and whatnot. Then go there first. If you don't, then yeah, consider Dow DIMC. It's not about this. It's not, about, it's not bad at all. I mean, it, it is what you make of it, right? I just want you to know that most of the doctors that are from Pakistan are majority actually from DMC and SMC. They actually have a whole organization over there called Upna, and they're all from DMC and SMC. Mm-hmm. So there's a very big program. There's a huge, there's a huge amount of connections there just from DMC and... Uh, and it's going to really help you out. Yeah, help you, it'll help you in a great way. And what I recommend is, um, if you want to become a doctor and you're willing to really sacrifice the next five years of your life and really work hard, because getting residency as international medical graduates in the United States or London or Europe or in Australia is hard. It's mm-hmm. rough. And if you can make the best of it and really make an honest intention to work as hard as possible you can and, and enjoy the life you have here and work on yourself as a person, work on, work on yourself mentally, make sure you're stable enough to work hard and enjoy the grind, enjoy the passion you get out of it, 
then yeah, I do recommend it. But if you are uncertain about doing medicine, do not come here. I'm telling you straight up. If you are concerned about, oh, will I enjoy it? Or, oh, try I even become a vet? Try I even become a doctor? Will I enjoy medicine? Do not come here. I Don't. recommend you go, go do your undergraduate way, figure out what you really want to pursue, pursue in life, and then come here or do medicine somewhere else because then you'll actually enjoy it and you know you wouldn't be a doctor at that point and you won't hate your life. We all would hate for somebody to come here thinking they want to do medicine and, and then 10 years down the line and then hate their lives. Like, oh, I shouldn't have done medicine because that sucks. You only get one life. Make the most of it. You know. So if you're uncertain, definitely, definitely do undergraduate degree and figure out because then you, you will know absolutely, definitively what you want to pursue with for the rest of your life at that point. So um, I think we've covered everything in this video. I hope so. I hope so. Um, if you guys have any queries, leave it in the comment section. And Fizan here would definitely, hopefully, you'd have time, right? Absolutely. Um, answer, <laughs> those, answer those questions. Um, so that's it, I guess. Yeah, man. So um, make sure to like. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel. Yeah. Like and comment and whatever. And yeah, share it with those who are considering medicine here in Pakistan. Hey!